Hello everyone. Today I would like to share with you how to use the Boost Graph library or BGL in R through RCPP. This is an example provided by the library. What it does is to apply the breadth first search algorithm in a game called Six Degrees of Kevin Bacon. The idea of the game is to connect an actor to Kevin Bacon through a trial of actors who appeared together in movies, and do so in less than six steps. Now let's have a quick look at the input file, which is called kevinbacon.dat. At the beginning of each line is an actor's name, followed by a semicolon. Then is a movie's name, followed by another semicolon. Finally is the second actor's name, who appear in the same movie. For example, William Shatner and uh, Richard Dennis Richards co-starred in one, the same movie. Dennis Richards and Kevin Bacon co-starred in another movie. As a result, Dennis Richards is connected to Kevin Bacon in one step. However, William Shatner is connected to Kevin Bacon in two steps via Dennis Richards. Now let's return to the source code. The design of the Boost Graph Library, or BGL, applies heavily the idea of template metaprogramming or generic programming. So we'll see a lot of function templates, class templates, traits, iterators, as well as the separation of algorithms and the data structures. We first create a class template called Bacon Number Recorder. It inherits from the default BFS visitor. The idea of visitor in BGL is similar to the functor in STL, both of which are used to extend the functionalities. However, the functor in STL has only one callback function. But in visitor, there can be more than one callback functions, depending on different events points. So here, the callback function we, we implement is called tree edge. It takes one edge from the graph and gets the source vertex as well as the target vertex of this edge. Then the value of the, the target vertex equals the value of the source vertex plus one. So let's look at the examples from the input file. Every actor stands for one vertex and each row is an edge to link these two actors in the same movie. So we start from Kevin Bacon as the source vertex and assign his value to be zero. From row two, if Kevin Bacon is the source, then Dennis Richards is the target and his value equals one plus Kevin Bacon's value equals one. In row one, Dennis Richards is the is a source and William Shatner is the target. So William Shatner's value equals one plus Dennis Richards value equals one plus one or two. Let's go back to the source code. The next is a function template which will return the visitor that we we just declared. And this visitor is a function is a class template. The template parameter is the distance map. Finally, let's look at the main function, breadth first search or BFS. It takes the actor's name as the input and it will return a map from string to int. Here, this string is other actor's name and the int is the number of steps that connects him or her to the actor that we selected. So firstly, we read in the data by using ifstream. And then we use adjacency list to represent the graph. It's a class template from uh, BGL. So the first parameter is used to store the vertices. The second one is used to store the edges. The third one tells us that this is an undirected graph. And the fourth and fifth one are two property maps. The fourth one is used to attach to the vertices. And the fifth one is attached to the edges. So in this example, we attach each actor's name to the vertices. 
and we attach each movie's name to the edges. Then we, we declare a graph. Because we have two property maps in the graph, we need to create the corresponding object, objects of the property maps so that we can access the properties. The first one is actor name, and the second one is connecting movie. Then we use the graph traits from the BGL to get the vertex de descriptor type, which is used to represent the vertex, and, and create a map from the string to vertex called actors. So this map will link the actor's name with the corresponding vertex. The following for loop goes through each line of the data to construct the graph. It uses the insert function from the STL to make sure that each actor is represented by only one vertex in the graph. So after both actors are added to the map, we add the edge to the graph as well. So after the graph is constructed, we create a vector of int called big number. Its size equals to the number of vertices in the graph. It is used to store the big numbers of each vertex. Then we create a vertex called src. It is based on the, the argument. So in this example, it will be Kevin Bacon. Because vertex is, is essentially an integer, so that we can use it to index the, the vector big number, and we assign the value of, the, of this vertex equal to zero. This makes sense because for Kevin Bacon, it takes zero steps to reach to himself. Now we can call the breadth first search function from BGL. The first argument is a, is a graph that we constructed. The second argument is a source vertex. And the third argument is the visitor, where we pass in the big number as a distance map. So after the search is done, we look through each vertex of the graph by calling the vertices function. And for each vertex, we get the corresponding actor's name by calling this property map, as well as the big numbers. So then we save them into the result map. That's it. Now let's test the result. We will call this function with Kevin Bacon as the argument. And let's source it. It will take a short while. Now, so we get the result. So for each of the vector, we get the corresponding numbers to reach to Kevin Bacon. So take Zoya, for example. It, it takes her five steps to, to reach to Kevin Bacon. We can also call this function and uh, with a different actor's name. So for example, here, we use, so we use Zoya as the actress, actress name and call this function. We can see now her number becomes zero. And if we look at Kevin Bacon, his number is five, which means they are symmetric to each other. So that's all. If you have any opinions or suggestions, please let me know. And thank you for your watching.